hardware and software both get more and more complicated. Um, the challenges we're facing now are that uh, and in hardware, uh, the basic transistors are not improving as much as they used to. And so we're actually relying on software developers to pick up the slack and actually come up with more efficient code. Now, historically, software, if you just ran the same software on the new machine, it went faster. These days, the programmers have to be aware of what's inside these new machines and target them to get uh, better efficiency. Nearly everything you buy, phones, laptops, everything is multi-core. There are multiple processors in there. And so to get the best performance, the programmers have to actually worry about parallelizing the code to fit onto these multi-cores. Um, the new thing that we're struggling with now is even that alone is not enough. We're going to even more complex chips which have specialized processes targeted at certain pieces of applications. Now the developers have to worry about uh, rewriting their applications in some way to target these different specialized engines and that's the way we think we're going to get increasing energy efficiency and better performance out of these systems. So the only way to get increased performance for new applications is for developers to be aware of these new features in these chips. I think the industry as a whole is selling something like one and a half billion cell phones a year and increasingly those are smartphones. Um, but we're going to hit saturation in that market. So you know, there's only seven billion people on the planet. So and if they replace their phone every, every few years, um, pretty soon it's going to be, we're going to hit the limit. And what's interesting, what comes next? What's the next computing platform that we won't just have one per person, but 10, 100 per person? What are those going to be? Where are those going to be in the environment, on the body? Uh, I think that's you know, an exciting new area. That'll be the next thing after smartphones.